Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. So last time we made 267,000, I believe. Uh, we sold a lot of stuff. We sold a lot of star fruit wine. Good morning, we're rich now. Well, we're not. We're actually getting back up to the wealth we had previously. Hello, kiddo. Now there was uh, a, an interesting idea that um, someone had suggested to me, namely my son who, who thinks of these things. He said, because we, we started when we were playing multiplayer, he said, hey, I can, uh, I'm able to sell my TV. And he sold his TV for like $700. Now I was curious here, if we come down, oh, there we go. Oh, it says it's worth zero. Well, that's interesting. So now if I go to sell this thing, it has a, zero, a value of zero. Uh, yeah. And we're, we're gonna get nothing for that. Oh, we got some money back from Pierre, $440. I guess Pierre heard we were poor. Oh, he only made a billion dollars. Okay, let's see how the animal auto collector is going. What do we, what, how does this work? No, I gotta... I don't know, maybe it hasn't done anything yet. I keep saying hi to animals though. This might not be the best play. Maybe it's at the end of the day I really gotta come to this thing. <laughs> you guys are definitely hovering around it. No, that's not, okay. Nope. Maybe if I move, oh, there we go. Nope. Oh my gosh, how do I get? Okay, I can't. <gasps> Flowers are up though. Hey, Junimos. Wow, you guys are busy. Look at you. Look at you. I'm gonna have to help out over here because, uh, no. Because I think they, um, they can't reach that far. So I'm gonna have to do, I'll help out on this side. I don't know if the beans are the great divide between them and chaos, if they just simply can't get over here, what the story is, but we may as well come and get our beautiful crop. What an amazing day that was yesterday. Oh my goodness. That's what uh, a good day looks like. That's what we're gonna get to, I think, once we have a, especially a, you know, a lot more star fruit coming on. Uh, in summertime, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna plant uh, what I think could be known as a ridiculous amount of star fruit because we have so much money, we can afford to buy the absurd amount of seeds required. And then by fall, we will be gajillionaires. I think is how that's gonna go. Uh, uh, not precise. I mean, it could be a gajillabilabilabil. I don't even know what it would be. What's past gajillionaire? I'm not even sure. Blablillionaire? Globlillionaire? I don't even know. Too much money. They're gonna... We're gonna be, uh, well, we don't wanna be known as, the, you know, the, the tech entrepreneur of this town because that just might have a bad label. People already have issues with me invading their privacy as I've been rummaging through their rooms. And they're like, man, imagine if you were able to do this from a distance with technology. You'd be, you'd be liquid evil then is what you would be. And uh, yeah, I don't think they would tolerate me being a, a tech mogul in this town. I, I, gotta, I just have a feeling Stardew Valley would not be cool with that. I think Willie and Clint would probably come to my house and uh, burn it down. Probably, uh, they just would. It would be like a protest, is what would happen. A not peaceful protest. Wow. Yeah. Again, I. You know, I. I don't know. I. I. I always think, man, I need more Junimal huts. But uh, also, there is something kind of satisfying about the, when you do harvest, especially at this point in the game where. But like, let's be honest, we don't have a lot going on. We could definitely spend our time harvesting. It's kind of fun. It's kind of relaxing. This is the relaxing part of the game. I do like harvesting. The garlics are pretty cool. I, I don't, I don't, I think I dismissed how cool the garlics were previously, but I'm actually, those look pretty rad. What is the name of that old? So, is it Les Blank? The movie? A garlic is worth a thousand mothers? Is that, if I recall? Some old, uh, kind of short movie made about garlic? Those are some fun old ones. He did one on gap teeth and, and garlic, I remember. So, if you like garlic, go check it out. <laughs> 
for all you garlic fans. No, it's, it's one of those things. You're just like, it, it's cool when somebody goes and makes a uh, piece of art about something you think, well, no one's done that. And he just went, hey, let's go and follow people who go, you know, I think we've got a garlic festival or something cool. And you're like, that's a thing. That's cool. The world is better because there are people who go and do fun things like that. We, we need those sorts of people doing those sorts of things. We have enough homogeny. Everybody doing the same thing. How are you guys doing? I think they've hit their... Yeah, I think... Oh, wait. Can they get these ones? I can't tell. Like, they're flailing. They seem kind of helpless. Oh, my inventory's full anyway. I don't want to put them out of work. That's my thing. So, I think we got a few flowers this time. I feel like we may have gotten all the varieties and uh, colors. Oh wow, I simply can't get these because... Okay. So I don't know how my vacuum system there is going to... Wow, this is ridiculous. How is it going to work with the... the uh, getting the animal products for me? I have no idea how this functions. I, like, do I need to put it indoors? Can it be outdoors? I really don't know. I should have looked at it. Oh, no, I want that. Urch. Uh, and you and you and you. Okay. Beautiful. Let's go back down and get the last couple of things. Then I've got some gift giving. See, I, I well, you know, I'm going to leave these because I actually thought it would get the truffles. Maybe it, it only, um, wow, that is a lot of food. Let's go check the Junimo hut. Wow. Okay. There was a few things there. This is going to be a very successful spring harvest. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have to go give the dwarf his, uh, his gifts. I haven't been doing that. Okay, I, again, I've just... Like, I hate the mayor, and I'm just like, ha, ah, you know what's gonna be funny? Let's pour water. No, I gotta stop doing that. The mayor is gonna complain. He's gonna suddenly re be like, you know what? I've kind of had it with the giant bag of sopping wet that I get every time I, uh, I come around here. It's disgusting. I don't appreciate it. One of these days, the mayor's just gonna, he's gonna lose it. Why am I trying to put eggs in? Alright, fine. Oh, I've, I got eggs still. I guess I'll just carry them. It said Saturday, so I can go see the cart lady tomorrow. Now, I yeah, I guess I'll make some iridium, as I sold a whole pile of those. Yeah, it's definitely worth it when you go and have a mega day. Now, what I guess what another thing I should go and do is... Uh, I should just continue making coal, as I do need a lot of it to produce some of the next uh, crafting things. Good morning. Okay, Timothy. Let's go to the mine, because I need to go and give the dwarf some stuff. And then, hey Pam, how's it going? Uh, mines. Let's go give this guy something. There we go. Hello, sir. Cool. All right. Yeah, right. We bought this. Bought the stone cairn off of him, but previously. Okay. And the bottom of the mine is still the bottom of the mine. Arrowhead. Have we... Nah, I think we found it. <laughs> Keep waiting for something new. It's just not happening. I should have been paying attention to the water. There might have been some cool stuff. Ah, uh, I'm just, again, I feel like I should just let the stuff show up, but you know what? May as well get it. I'm gonna need to give the dwarf some things soon anyway. 
Maybe this, I don't know if this helps it respawn better stuff. Or not. I don't know. No idea. I don't know how anything works. Alright, bus stop. Um, yes. I wish a team of elves would come during the night and tidy up my house. Ha 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 ha. I could sure go for some parsnips. If my legs weren't so stiff, I'd visit the mountains every now and then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that. That random... Now I'm assuming we still can't go here, can we? Yeah, no, that's still an invisible wall of... That's okay. Now, uh, yeah, I wanted to go check on this whole Pam's house situation that she was going to build. She said she gets started on it in the morning. So let's go check it out. I don't want to be keeping tabs on her or anything, but I'm really curious how this is gonna. Oh wow! What are you What are you doing here? <laughs> cool, cool. Okay, so you're just you're gonna just bust down her old house while she's. I guess that's the best way to do it. She still she needs to live somewhere, right? That makes sense. That makes sense. Fair enough. Okay, so I I do need to give Jazz another thing. Oh, and Sandy. Wow, and yeah, see, I didn't give the dwarf two things this week. It was 4 p.m. On a Saturday. Huh. Jazz probably is over at Marnie's. Hey, Leah. What's going on? I think that was nice of her to just wait before I come barreling through with my, my powerful steed. Hey, hey, Marnie, don't mind me barging into your room to talk to you. Have you been to that strange tower west of my house? One time I heard this terrible otherworldly noise coming from there. I would avoid that place if I were you. Nah, the wizard's cool, man. Me and uh, Rasmodius? Yeah, we're tight. I met his ex-wife. I've uh, almost gave my kids away to a witch. It's craziness over there, but it's fun craziness. Also, you can buy Junimo huts and they harvest crops. You're not listening. I'm just going to walk away. She's not listening to me. Sometimes you just, you know, there's no point having this conversation. Okay, five o'clock, so the kid must be coming back. Again, I wish I had better things to give her. I wish I had the fairy rose, because I know she loves those, but I do not have those. And I'm not sure what else she actually likes as that much. Probably something, but I don't know what it is. Okay, are the kids over here at the library, or where'd you? There's a lot of doors doing a lot of stuff. Okay, no? So where the heck were they? I don't know if I'm going to make it back there in time. Wilhelm? Elliot? I hear a lot of doors closing. Okay, Marnie, do you know where you're, where's your kid? Oh man, I'm not going to make it in time. No. No. All right, that's fine. Yeah, it's really these trees just grow back every day. I've never paid much attention to this stuff. They can't. I doubt they grow back every day, but they seem to grow back quite frequently. Which is good, given the the uh, the, the vast deforestation I brought upon this world. Look at that. Random logs. Again, I don't really know what I'm going to need all this wood for. Well, I may want to build a, a shack on my property just for fun. In case we do ever have any visitors. You know, it's possible. We, we may have some visitors. Would be pretty fun to have visitors in this world. Since I, I have visitors, uh, well, we have a whole new world that uh, Zane and I are working in. I'm excited about that world. It's fun having potential. It's like a blank canvas. You just, you can do anything. And this game, it's nice to restart this game. Again, this is one of those, one of those games I just do not grow tired of. There's a few of them, but I left my horse somewhere. <laughs> my horse is asleep in the night somewhere else. Staying at the neighbors. All right, I'll get you in the morning. Uh, remember, if you have to go to the bathroom, and let go go to the bathroom before bed. And uh, this is when you treat your horse like a child. 
Okay, now they're good. Oh, gosh. Okay, hey, hey, how, how are you? Oh, sorry. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my, my greetings are totally... Oh, that's how rude of me. I can't believe I... What? Oh, oh, wow, I'm sorry. You turned into fluff. Oh, I thought that might be something good. No, no. Okay, well, let's check out what, what does the auto grabber say it does. Automatically harvest from your animals each morning. Works on cows, sheep, and goats. Maybe I have to put it inside. Let's try that. I, You know, I have a feeling that it's going to be a thing that's going to work only indoors. Maybe I got to put it, like, by the door. And as they leave, it's just going to... It's like a strip search. It's just going to remove their stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going with that coat? Where are you going with that coat of stuff? No, 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 no. Who do you, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You're not a free sheep. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's, that's how that auto... Like, whoa, take it easy there, auto harvester. They are, they're animals, but they're also my... Oh, do I have too much junk? I have too much junk. Fine. Hey, you. I can get your egg. Yeah, yeah, you're all fake and sleeping. So, now the kids seem innocent. We should probably leave them well enough alone. But the farmer, he's pure evil. Who votes that we take out the farmer first? Destroy the farmer! Destroy the farmer! They're, they're, again, they're plotting a coup. You could, as a farmer, you have to assume that your animals are always plotting a coup. It's the only way you can really, I think, go through life. If you're not if expecting a coup, then you're naive. Because your animals are plotting a coup. Any, any farmer will tell you that. I bet. If you, if you ask them a ridiculous enough question. They will, they will say, yes, my animals are plotting a coup. How did you know? Because everybody knows. Oh, come on. <laughs> you see, you think I would just get rid of the whole an uh, monsters? On my Every time I complain. Like, oh, what? What is this? What is this? Monsters. Monsters in my farm. I didn't know about this. Yeah, I, I knew about this. And yet I'm complaining. Who gave them the right to come in here and bother upstanding citizens? Uh, I don't know how much jade I have. Check that out. All right. Nah, whatever. Okay, and let's, uh, I guess we will, uh, I'll just leave that in there. You know what we will do is I'll actually take this and since we're, we kind of are getting more than we need every day, I am going to just keep on my environmentally uh, de degradating my destruction, the horrific uh, smokestack that is my house. I'm going to just keep on doing that because that's the only way I think we're going to get through the amount of ore that we have to mine. I mean, we have a lot of ore. I think we can plow through it reasonably fast. Okay, arrowheads. Where do we keep the arrowheads? Isn't that a question that some people you always ask at your house? Where do we stash the arrowheads? Do I really not have any? That's weird. How many have I found of those? Three. Hmm. Interesting. Statistics. I'd love to see the... Uh, I, I like in the, the multiplayer how when you get your first, uh, what is it, like 10,000 steps, it tells you. That that was that made me laugh. That was a nice touch. Oh good, the kids are asleep. Good evening. My day was fine, thanks. How was yours? Jazz and Vincent weren't behaving very well today. I'm still all wound up. Now, yeah, I don't know. You, you should take up like jiu-jitsu or something. Um, I don't know. You need a hobby, Penny. You need something that's going to relax you. Like, uh, axe throwing or chainsaw juggling or maybe making, uh, carving those little, like, little block chains, like, out of, you know, we make, take a block of wood and you make a thing out of it. Carve those. Um, I don't know, high speed, um, you know, investments. Like, you get a fiber optic line and start doing microtransactions. I, you just need a hobby. Something. Anything. Knitting. 
whatever. You can take take whatever road you want, but you should probably do something. She's really stressed out. All right, well, we will see you all next time. I can't wait. I'm hoping Pam's thing is almost done. Hey, hey, it said zero value. Oh, 4,500 bucks for my plasma TV. Oh my gosh. Okay, I feel like that's cheating. <laughs> I do. I totally feel like that, but I also feel like I should totally sell a bunch of those. I'm very conflicted right now. I mean, I did spend an arm and a leg on the furniture book, but oh my gosh, that is, I did not know that you could do that until I would, because it says zero value. I would not have thought you could sell televisions. Well, thanks to Zane for, of course. See, this is the thing, why I've always said this before, board games, video games, anything, you wanna find an edge case. You give your thing to a child and they will break it within moments. I don't know why people do like alpha and beta testing with adults. No, 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 you're doing this all wrong. Don't give this out to the general community. You go to a school, right? You set up like six terminals, you have a bunch of kids come and destroy your game for you because they will find ways to wreck your game within minutes. Children are the best alpha testers ever. Edge cases abound. They will try to do dumb things that no one has ever tried. Any any exploit in this game was probably discovered by a child. Uh, they don't even need source code. They're like, eh, no, 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 I got this. Yeah, it says zero, but I'm pretty certain it's going to give me money. And it did 4,500. Wow. So a $60,000 day thanks to our plasma TV sales. I guess we're in the TV business now. Coffee shop slash TV sales. Oh, I should open a shed that has nothing but televisions in it. <laughs> I think I might do that just for the heck of it. We're gonna do. We're gonna start a TV uh, TV sales place. That that seems insidious. All right. We will see you all next time. Till then. Bye bye.